Business Fix, Kerosha Breweries has been shut down for the sixth time this year. And now the CEO of the Nakuru County-based brewery, Tabitha Karanja, says her frustration with the taxman is due to her political ambitions, specifically her choice to run for Senate on a UDA party ticket. An eerie silence hangs over Keroche breweries in Naivasha. For more than two decades, Tabitha Karanja and her husband ran the liquor-making company from her hometown, employing more than 400 people directly and supporting tens of thousands indirectly. Until August 2019, when she was arrested alongside her husband on allegations that the company owed Kenya Revenue Authorities 14 billion shillings in tax evasion. Tabitha and her husband are currently out on bond, but she claims the intensity of her woes rose during the pandemic when KRA rescinded their agreed payment plan, which she insists was done under duress. After negotiating under tremendous pressure with a large team of your commissioners and top officers, we were compiled to enter an agreement whose implementation on the face of it could not be supported by the company's performance in its immediate post-COVID-19 economic effects and the first four months closures by KRI. Our pleas for time to resume payment on attaining full operational performance were rejected. The aspiring Senate candidate for the UDA party says that the erratic closures and communication with the company's bankers by KRA have made it difficult for her to resume operations. She insists her tribulations stem out of her support for Deputy President William Ruto. I've called various offices for intervention and it has been made clear to me that I can only successfully exercise my political and democratic rights and that there is more or more coalition and that has matters stand. The advance action will be sustained. My concern is that we must never mix business and politics. However, when they were first arrested in 2019, Tabitha had no political inclinations and the director of public prosecutions had found sufficient grounds for her prosecution on 10 counts of tax evasion. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the brewery was closed for two years because of the measures enforced by the government to contain the spread of COVID-19. And during this time, we incurred tax arrears of 322 million. Still plead with the KRA to afford us an opportunity to get back to our feet and gain our footing as a manufacturer. Tabitha says her efforts to seek audience with the KRA Director General have not been successful and she wants the taxman to issue a moratorium on the current order to close the brewery and for a review on the payment plan. Bridget's Ghana, NTV, Nakuru.